Hey people, Intrate here, FAB3, Greysuck, Under City, Blue Team. Alpha Legion is an Eversaur Assassin, a risk reward melee brawler that explodes on death alongside. Sparkling Hive Tyrant is not a Hive Tyrant, a Force Commander, very strong offense fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt, and support. Rounding off the team though, Dead Game Enjoy is a Hive Tyrant. A durable hero walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Manuel. Red team, Alex the Bold Fool is a mech boy teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat with a bunch of orky gadgets alongside. Aegon as a Farseer support hero fighting in melee, some powerful buffs and control and rounding off the teams is Gaz as a plague champion. Starts off with the damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair, trying to fight some Hormagaunts in melee, here come some heretics and a doom blast and they're probably going to get shot down. It's only two single termagants here at the moment, Manuel the Hive Tyrant is now moving in, Hormagaunts cutting it close. Heretics also need to be careful here. Looks like they're all right. More heretics join the fight and some allied howling banshees from Aegon coming in. Farseer is here too. Guide is probably off cooldown by now. Might be worth just throwing it on herself, the Farseer. Because the banshees might have to leave relatively quickly. Although the termagants are getting messed up here. Red team should be able to push through. A blue team 2v1 in the top then. Eversaur Assassin has gone down already. Force Commander's nearby though, might be able to get a revive double Stormtroopers. In fact, triple Stormtroopers on the field for Alpha Legion. These guys need to reinforce. Yeah, stay there, fellas. Purgation on the way now. Alex with double Shooter Boys. The single tax of Sparkling Hive Tyrant, who are now on capping duty. Those guys cap 50% faster than normal. And there is the revive on the Eversaur Assassin. Some spore mines up for dead game. Pass here. I guess you'll get some XP for this, right? Probably. Heretics don't want to mess with them, though. Day Champion comes in for some shots as well. I think she got a bit. They actually detonated at least once, though. Stormtroopers getting all the way through onto the power, having a look at it. A little poke. Guardians here to defend, as is a Guardian weapon team. And the Stormtroopers can't do much against this thing unless they can flank around. Sluggers and shooters heading northeast. All three of these guys now have a sergeant giving them that impact grenade. Maybe one of them can get close enough to disrupt the shuriken if they need to, but looks like they're backing off. Northeast, big shooter on the shooter boys and on the mech boy. Gets the VP decapped. Most likely going to cap it as well. Purgation on the field with those incinerators. What is this? Ormagant oh trying to sneak around the edges of the map, I think, trying to get a flank on someone. Double Termigants both have their toxin sacks. And there is Manuel, the Hive Tyrant. Raptors on the field for gas. That's going to be bad news for the Double Termigants. Triple Heretics and the Plague Sword. In. A power weapon that ignores melee resistance, which is an incredibly powerful trait to have. And create zombies if you can kill something with it. So you might see some might see some tyrannid zombies. For the glory of Nurgle. Warrior brood with barbed stranglers. Could get some good hits on those melee heretics, maybe, but they're kind of moving away from them. Plague Champion goes straight for the Hive Tyrant. Ignoring the melee, melee resistance, of course, with the Plague Sword. Termigans do not have melee resistance. Heretics run, they do have an aspiring champion. This is a messy fight here. Scouts in an odd place trying to get a grenade. They got one, it was half decent. Raptors in on the warrior brood. These are jump troops that suppress when they land. And they're doing some good work here. They do have the support of those tactical marines. Might have been more useful for those tacks actually to go in melee there. Because that would have negated the damage resistance that you get for being in melee from ranged fire. Aegon with rangers on the field. Banshees bash the node. Nicely done. And look at the nasty fire. Ouch. Into a grenade on the sluggers. Why did they try to force their way through that? I'm not sure. Just trying to take attention from the double shooters maybe so they could pour on that DPS. They did kill a purgation bloke. 
That's the te technical term for them, you see. Purgation bloke. There's three of them. Making a purgation squad. Any more questions? Farseer half elf. Gonna chase down some Gormagants. Can this shuriken set up in time? It can't. Grenade goes in. Does some friendly fire. Rangers back off. They do have their rifles in thanks to Pathfinder gear. Raptors with a save. They might have saved one of those models from the Hormagaunts. They don't have adrenal glands though, so they weren't jumping. Triple heretics with aspiring champions and a melee plague champion. Do they have? They do have the mucus discharge to heal those guys, maybe if they're close by. And raptors for full on melee. They need to use it. Have they used it already? I guess they must have their energy is low. The plague champion must have used the breath of noble already. Force commander goes down. Heretics get away, I think. Yes, Hive Tyrant Manuel goes down. All three blue heroes down. Nobody ever came to get Alpha Legion, I think. Oh, did they? They have an Eviscerator Axe. Maybe they got revived and went down again. I completely missed that if it happened. Tier 2 starting to roll in. Gaz is floating slightly, I think. No, they're not. They have 100 power. You need 1, 2, 5 to start your Tier 2. Back in the old, old, old days, of course, you only needed 50 power to go Tier 2, so most players almost completely skipped tier one stuff and then they released the there is only war update which made big changes to that kind of thing gave us that one two five power requirement for tier two purgation need to be careful here fellas having so much fun burning sluggers that they almost wiped to shoot a boy fire those guys have their knob leaders now so they're doing huge amounts of dps any of them repurchased? Yes, the Force Commander is back to their feet. Already damaged, though. I guess they came out damaged and they didn't heal up. No, but when you repurchase, you repurchase at full health. Yeah, so they took a bunch of damage here. Trying to face tank a Guardian weapon team. On the power, then, is Eldar and Orc forces. Going to get a full bash, maybe even a decap. And the Mech Boy is capping the VP. Maybe the Banshees could come to this wreck point and get a decap. But they've been forced off anyway. Double tax here for Sparkling. Rhino on the way for Alpha Legion. There's the Tier 2 for Dead Game. Falcon on the way for Aegon. Nothing yet in Tier 2 for Alex. They are floating a bit. Alex trying to go straight to Tier 3. Nope, here comes a weird boy. Nice little flank there by Alpha Legion. Got some good shots on the Guardian weapon team. Forces them off. Looks like they're going to push all the way through, maybe try to pressure the power a bit. Sluggers with Knob Leader and Burners make them quite a fierce melee squad despite being a tier 1 squad. Those upgrades really do help them. 359 to 411, Heretics bashing power. Looks like they don't want to bother stealing it. They should be splitting up though and taking a generator each there. What is this? Oh, it's a Falcon. Purgation trying to do fire stuff. They might try to get a weapon upgrade to deal with the Falcon. The Rhino has heavy bolter turret, so it can't really touch the Falcon very much. On the other hand, the Falcon has pretty good damage output against all targets. See it pressuring that Rhino on rear armor there. 339 to 411 on the VPs. Weird boy, where are you, bud? You're right here. It'll be a big deal and shut down that entire blob of stormtroopers or the double tax with warp vomit and help these sluggers get in. Maybe get some war part as well because that would buff the Banshees, right? Banshees have the aspect of strength. Going after a force commander. War shouting them. They have a power fist, but they're going to go down. I'm not sure why they stayed in that fight there. Should have re retreated as soon as they used the war shot. They're trying to power fist the Falcon, I think, before that. Dreadnought on the way for Sparkling. That's going to help against these melee squads such as the Sluggers and the Banshees. And now these guys have Falcon support, of course. They can reinforce off the Falcon, much like the blue team can reinforce off the Rhino. Here comes the Eversaur. He's annoyed, charging through and then dies immediately. Okay. Classic Eversaw play there, just charge head first into death. Well, Purgation got the Falcon down. Conversion Beam are doing good work. 
Banshee's yelling a bit too uh, soon there. Shotgun blast comes in, and the double tax turn to DPS with their bolt guns. Banshee's getting low, really low. All top dropped in here. Oh, I, I feel like attacks could have stayed in play there, you know. Just backed off the Autark and split and move and shoot. Would have had the Dreadnought support coming in soonest, but here is a beamy death gun now for the Mechboy to counter that Dreadnought with powerful anti-vehicle shots. Electric armor's in there too. Autark goes down, which we often see the Autark drop in and die. Heretics through onto the natural... No, that's their, that is their natural VP. But they do have blue team's natural on the other side. Gaz, well played, with a Chaos Dreadnought coming up. Raptors have their aspiring champion trying to bash down the capillary tower. What is this? This is Hormagaunts. What kind of levels we've seen here? Level 2 Heretics and level 1 Hormagaunts trying to get Endless Swarm. They've not gone touch of Nurgle, but the Heretics win it. And can they wipe? They do wipe them. I think they were trying to wait for Endless Swarm to come in, but it was a bad, bad choice. Lost the indicator for the Farseer, but she's hanging out in the northeast. Chaos Dreadnought is in. The Fork State has an auto cannon and a close combat claw. Spore mines, uh, not spore mines. Rippers spawn from the tower there. Dead game gets their natural VP back, kicking off in the northeast. Looks like blue team trying to break out of this situation, just can't do it. Rhino's getting messed up by the death gun, and there's a bright lance there now. Oh, bio meltdown triggered for the Ebersaur assassin, damaging all nearby units, friend and foe. Also drains the Ebersaur's health while it's active. And if they die while it's active, big old explosion, bigger than usual. Eviscerator Axe doing some good work. The mech boy just allowed themselves to be slaughtered, apparently. And now Bio Meltdown is damaging their own units a bit. They do have Assault Armor, we sort of charge earlier. And Chem Cloud Grenades to mess up. Have they changed this? Deal 50% less damage. So it's not just melee anymore. It used to debuff melee and melee skill, didn't it? Melee damage and melee skill. Blue team get through. Assault Cannon Dreadnought and our Rhino, so they have some vehicles to deal with here. Alex goes tier 3, as does Aegon. They might be... Yeah, they might be under pressure for a little while as they start to roll into their tier 3 units. Meanwhile, towards the southwest, Dreadnought in melee with Manuel the Hive Tyrant, who promptly leaves as rending talons and improved synapse. You saw Seismic Roar go off there. Ben and Brood getting tied up. Now a warrior brood. Oh, it's another venom brood with death, spill it. death spitters. Force commanders here. Use the flesh over steel. Not sure if they can finish it off. Popping their battle cry. Messing up some heretics. Need to be careful though. We just died there. Oh, just some rippers, I think. Force commander. Trying to get away, gets shot to death by the Dreadnought. Now it's going to be Dreadnought on Dreadnought action a bit, maybe. Nope, this guy's going for Raptors. You guys got any missile launchers on the way? Nope. Heretics coming in, maybe for some repair support. Uh, apparently not, they're just going after the attacks. Now they're repairing. And it might be enough. Doesn't tell me the melee damage of this Space Marine Dreadnought once it loses the second floor. But the Chaos Dread seemed to mess it up quite handily. Bright Lance came in. So we have a Venom Brood with Venom Cannons and Range Synapse. And also a Venom Brood with the Death Spitters for anti infantry damage. Plague Champion now helping to repair. And there's a Breath of Noble to help out their Eldar buddies. 197 to 377. Noxious Cloud called in, but doesn't really do much. Northeast is all blue, even taking that contested power there. Eversaw. Oh, looks like they were using the hyper metabolism because now they have the vulnerable portion of it there. On their way to level 3, the Eversaw. Orc Battle Wagon coming up for Alex to ball full. 
Aegon well in to tier 3. Seem to be saving for an avatar here. Big fight in the mid. Fool's commander also has Artificer, so they're reasonably tough. They found a plague champion to go after too. That was Aura of Decay there, knocking those tacks back. And then they healed themselves. And then they might just die. They do die. I don't know why they didn't escape with the Aura of Decay going off. There's a bunch of repairs for the Dreadnought. Avatar of Kane is on the way. And now a Nob Squad. Alex has cancelled the Battle Wagon going for a Nob Squad. 197 to 339. Spawn Mines detonating in amongst all those heretics there. Might need to worship, guys. To heal up a bit. Dreadnought, not in any immediate danger. Those are not Venom Cannons. Taking some damage, though. Heretics piling in one at a time to keep things suppressed and controlled. Grenade now. It's a good one. It's a good grenade. Kills one of the Venom Brood, which is a Synapse Backlash. It's already knocked back those Termigants there. Avatar soon. Nobs. Oh, the Nobs are out. Nobs got on the field. Another one on the way. These guys have their U-Jammers already. Before they get got any other upgrades, actually. Typically, you'd get Hammers last. But they want that momentum buff going on. Rhino's actually done well, is it? Is this the same Rhino? It must be. It's almost level 3. Done well. Oh, hey. Imperial Abyss from Gaz. Global Nuke for Chaos. Looks like it hit some Tyranid stuff, but I'm not sure if that was worth it. Banshee's yelling. Force Commander now is starting to be a bit of a heavyweight in, in combat and causing some problems. You can just keep leveling up. He'll get tough enough and damagey enough to just be dangerous. Just throw him into any fight. It's going to be a big problem with the Power Fist. Avatar of Kane might be too much for him to take on, though. Super unit for Eldar. Powerful combatant that also buffs nearby allied infantry. Gives them suppression immunity and some other goodies. Does work on your allies as well. There's a chem cloud grenade. Debuffing the damage of that knob squad. Warp vomit is a really good one though. Electric armor in there. Needs to get a bit closer though, McBoy. Wasn't close enough to electrify them all, I don't think. Ever saw trying to go after the weird boy. Can they get one more hit? There's a charge. They could not get it. Oh, looks like hyper metabolism was active because now it's over there. There's the second knob squad. There they are. They have their knob leader. These guys do not. They do have their hammers first though again. Force commander shows up. And there's the Eversaw. Pops the Cyclone. Increasing damage and damage resistance. But they spent health to activate it. And they tried to charge through. Nice idea. But then go down. Force commander... I think a Sacred Standard would do some really good work here, but here comes a Terminator Assault Squad. Unique to the Force Commander. We'll start with Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields. Incredibly tough, good damage to all targets, and they can switch to Lightning Claws, which makes them terrifying against infantry. And anything with infantry armor, such as the Avatar, which has super heavy infantry armor, would, would still get very dead very quickly against Lightning Claws, even with all those hit points. Force Squander revives the Eversaw. They both run afterwards. Is that Stone Guard? Yep, Stone Guard veterans on the field for, spark for Sparkling. That's a lot of damage arrayed against that Nob Squad now. Got plas triple Plasma Gun Stormtroopers. Stone Guard using their Kraken Bolt. It's what they should be using against the, against the Nob Squad. They should switch to Vengeance though for the Avatar. And these guys are getting a Plasma Gun. Avatar is weak. To plasma and melter damage and also power melee because of its armor type so that should do some good work was that time field it was and she's in on the purgation that was a plasma overcharge to suppress them there terminators are going to fight them yes they are I was waiting for the wailing doom to go off i think Ouch. Big hit from the weird boy. Really big hit. 
And the avatar does do splash damage on hit, I believe, so that was a dangerous spot to be in for those fellas. 178 to 182 is incredibly close. Hive Tyrant Manuel now has crushing claws. The scary, scary DPS forced off though by the Plague Champion. Also has Warp Field. And goes down to Chaos Space Marine Melee. These guys just came in. Start with Combi Bolters and Power Fists. And they are getting an Auto Cannon in there, looks like. And they're going to go for the VP. This might be a little bit risky because they've used their teleport already. I guess they feel like it's safe. Warp Vomit shuts down the Eversaw and they run away. They, uh, sorry, Force Commander's back in now. Nob Squad dealt with. They do have the suppression from those Plasma Overcharges to suppress the Nob Squad. Force them to use their Frenzy maybe ease, uh, earlier than they would want to. Still no Sacred Standard for the Force Commander. We'll do so much work here, buffing all this Plasma damage and stuff. I guess they have their sights set on something else with their resources. Nob Squad almost wiped out. There is a Rox. Nob Squad do wipe out. Those guys are gone. Rox came in. Got a decent, a few decent hits in there. The Terminator did, did not drop a model though. So they're really low. Yeah, they're just going to walk back to base. I think those guys cannot retreat. Speaking of Terminators. We have some Grey Knight Terminators for the for Alpha Legion. Meanwhile, in the south of the map, 2-1 to one for Blue Team now. They have that con uh, contested back. Flash gets on the way for Alex. Get some blasters going, I guess. Might be worth getting a tank going. Well, there's still a conversion beamer, I suppose. They still have the Weird Boy. So if they can do a warp vomit and set up a bunch of flash kit shots, that would do some work as well. Dreadnought is level 3 for Gaz. The grenade is dodged quite easily. Stone Guard using vengeance rounds. And there is for the Emperor on number 2, I think. Global buff from the Force Commander. Increasing their damage by, I think it's 25%. And there is Flesh Over Steel. Heretics piling in to try and defend their Dreadnought here. Raptors joining the fight as well. Suppression from their landing may be wasted slightly. But they do go in on the stern guard. Here comes Manuel though. And some terminators just in case the Hive Tyrant couldn't get it done. But they do get it done. Just as I was saying how well that Dreadnought's done. It goes down. It was really far up the field though. 155147. Two no sorry, one to one cat. What is this? Avatar pushing all the way through with a fire prism in support and now a seer councils hit the field for Aegon I think they were called in maybe something the far seer can do weird boy on capping duty avatar taking some damage in base oh that was a melter bomb from the Eversaw. a couple of grey knight terminators go after it Eversaw might go after it as well because they could pop the kill zone and buff these guys, unless it's been used already. Granite Terminate is suddenly in a bit of trouble. There is the kill zone. It only does melee damage though, so it's not going to help those Stormtroopers out. And melee skill. Unbelievably, the Terminators did not drop another model there. Avatar barely makes it out. Eversaw getting stuck into some flash kits. Those guys with their blasters up and Eversaw goes down. Not you, you guys. Great unclean one on the way now for Gaz. Neurotrope is already up for dead game and has been for a little while. That's a good tool to have against a great great unclean one. Noxious Cloud scares off a bunch of Tyranids. But not Manuel uh, going after Terminator. is taking one out. And then they get away safely. Some noble worship there. Double Termigants can crippling poison these heretics. Maybe. There it is. Came in a bit late, but they did not do blast, so it's alright. Now Raptor's jumping in. 142 to 124. Red team are gonna get their natural back. What is this? Oh, some rippers being annoying. There's a great unclean one for Gaz. Super unit for chaos. Passively damages nearby enemies. Has some nasty abilities and powerful melee too. Ouch. 
Stone Guard got messed up by something. Was it the Weird Boy? Maybe it was a Fire Prism shot. Weird Boy does have Warpath. See a council on the field for Aegon. Power Melee squad that leap into combat and provide some damage resistance buffs to nearby allies and themselves. That is the Vindicare support global from the Ebersaur Assassin revealing all enemy units on the map for a duration. Off map Vindicare support or something is called. D cannon on the way for Aegon. Can Alex get some more flash kits up? Because you basically always want more than one, I think. Make the burst damage more bursty, and we do have the sacred standard in play for the Force Commander. Good use of time field, slowing down those Terminators. Knob Squad go after a tank, which got a bit too close. Big fight brewing in the northeast here. Eversaw charges in. Nicely done. Got those knobs on the floor, and they are off the field now. Avatar shows up a bit late. Not sure where. Oh, they got the fire prism. Didn't even notice. Eversaw is going after the Avatar. Chuck the Melter Bomb on it. And here come Grey Knight Terminators and Assault Terminators. And the Conversion Beam is getting shots as well. Using Electro Pulse to slow it down more. Took a lot of damage, the Avatar. Plasma coming in now from the Stormtroopers. Although they seem to be shooting on the Seer Council. That was the Grey Knight Terminators lifting them into the air there with Incinerate, I think it's called, something like that. Carney effects on the field for dead game. Weird boy. May have saved one of those Seer Council there with that shot. Terminators teleporting back. Knob Squad still he quite heavily damaged, actually. 108, 108. It's evened up. Meanwhile, Southwest, Great Unclean One is waddling through, taking a bunch of damage, though. Terminators have dropped to model two. What was that on the Raptors? Was that Touch of Noble? The end of Touch of Noble or something? Level four Plague Champion. Can they get onto the victory point? We have a Stranglethorn Cannon Carnifex and Vortimer on the way. Nope, cancelled for a Grey Knight Dreadnought on Alpha Legion. Who's this? Oh, ever saw. Running forward to die as usual. Farseer is also down. Fire Prism on the way. Wow, Grey Knight Terminator's got really low. Might need to back all the way off the base there. Level 8 Force Commander. Doing huge amounts of damage now with his Power Fist. Level 7 Hive Tyrant as well. With Crushing Claws is painful. Could not get onto the VP. Understandably, there's a bunch of stuff here. Neurothrope is still up. This thing can do percentage-based damage over time. Which is a powerful tool to have against a Great Unclean One. Probably part of why it's so low. And those Terminators. Need some energy back though. Needs to use abilities to get its energy back. It doesn't passively re regenerate energy much like most other units do. 108 to 54. Red team running out of VPs here. Pain Boy on the field for Alex. Weird Boy gets some shots in. Knob Squad and Avatar joining the fight. There's a Wailing Doom. Knob Squad did a pretty good job staying out of that and still getting some hits in. Popping their frenzy, getting those momentum buffs going. Pain Boy hanging back a bit. Can throw the heal over time on the Knob Squad. Flash gets doing some good work as well. And there is that time field. Terminators drop one model and then teleport out. Vogation flee. There's a Noxious Cloud and an Eldritch Storm. Eldritch was aiming for those Marines, I think. There's that Grey Knight Dreadnought. But it's the fault. Flame Cannon. Eversaw gets poked to death, but the game ends. Awesome push at the end there from the red team, but it couldn't quite get onto the VP quickly enough. Farseer with Singing Spear at the end, taking down the Eversaw. Had a level 5 Eversaw Assassin. A level 8 Force Commander was very steady throughout. Hive Tyrant, level 7. Incredibly dangerous, those crushing claws. Level 6 Mech. Didn't see, didn't notice much electric armor stuff. Maybe I just missed it all. Level 7 Farseer and a level 4 Plague Champion. Going for that pretty fun triple melee heretics into Raptors with a sword build. Just full on melee. It's a fun game. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.